All right, you're good to go. Hi, my name's Adam, and today I'm gonna to run through the squid experiment with you. That's fine. All right, so just, yeah. so what is this thing? Yeah. So this is the probe for the squid device. So it consists of a uh, component here, it's a Josephson junction, and an external coil. So can you rotate it around a bit? So that it's yeah, that's pretty good actually. Okay, so yes, go ahead. So the squid device gets inserted into a liquid nitrogen bath to cool it down to um, a superconducting temperature. Um, so the dewar itself also gives sh shielding to the squid device. Uh, because the squid device is very sensitive to external magnetic fields and we want to minimize that during the experiment. Go for it. So the squid device is controlled through the control box here which allows us to set it to measure uh, either the current or the magnetic flux in the device. So what we can do is we, we can determine the amount of voltage that is sweeped across and if you see here, we're increasing the voltage, so we have a current that's flowing with no voltage, and that's our super current. So if we continue to increase the voltage here, we'll get our voltage current curve, and we can see that above a point, we have voltage and current flow. So you can see if we now remove the device from the dewar, the supercurrent starts to disappear as the squid heats up and is no longer superconducting. Cool. Should I show that? <laughs> no, okay. So we can tune the parameters to achieve a symmetric output. So if I adjust the bias offset here, make it symmetric, and then increase the sweeping voltage so we go over a larger range. Just tune it up. Then we can take our measurements here of the voltage and current. So we can further tune the device here and if we're just having a look at the knee at the moment so this is the part of the curve where voltage starts to flow so if we adjust the flux offset we can tune the shape of this uh, and if we can reach a point where we maximize the point of the knee then we can determine the critical current of the device. So here we have the device set up to measure the magnetic field. So the squid is very sensitive to magnetic fields. And if you see here, if I put a magnet close by to the dewar, you can see that our output is changing and it's, and it's sensing the, the magnetic field. So it's very sensitive to changes. After inserting the rod into the duo with the squid, what we can do is we're able to adjust the frequency at which it's emitting and the level. So basically what we want to do is we want to tune these two parameters so that we are able to observe the Shapiro steps. So as you can see here, we've been able to Oops, start again. So as you can see here, we've been able to 
tune the radio frequency so that we can observe the Shapiro steps. Okay, so now we have all the data from our experiment, we can move across to the analysis.